Detective Cranston? It's been a while. Yeah, I've been busy. Where the hell is everyone, Johnny? <sighs> Kerry White, it's her. Uh... Oh shit, the funeral. Totally slapped my mind. She's a good kid. The guys were always trying it on with her in here. But, you know, she was never a bitch to them. She always let them down easy. Okay. Another apple juice, please, Johnny. As a bar for cops, Marshal. You don't qualify anymore, so what are you doing here? It's still a public place. Aye. But there's laws against overcrowding, and I say there's one too many people in this bar. I didn't come in here to start a row with you. I came in here about Molly McAdory. I don't give a shit what you came in here for! Easy, Cranston. Look, I know you don't like me. No. I don't like Mondays. I fucking despise you. Now you can walk out of here, or crawl out of here like a fucking rat you are. I'm no rat. Take it outside, guys. Let's not do this, Terry. You think you can walk in here drinking apple just and all be forgiven? This one's for Carter, you son of a whore. Ah, Ever you heard of me, Carter's death was alive? Oh shit, it's a train that was set up! Oh, oh, Robinson, we're kind of in the middle of something here. Yeah, I heard. Still breathing, Marshal? Yeah, I'm okay. What the hell happened to you? Did you say something about Molly McAdory? You can't believe a word he says. I told you I could explain about what happened to Carter. Uh, I want to hear what he has to say. Think you can trust him? After what I've been through this morning, I'll at least willing to hear him out. You probably know I've been doing PI work since I left the force. Left. Let him talk. The McAdory family hired me to investigate their daughter's death. They figured that maybe I could ask questions or go places that you guys couldn't. Thought you were going to talk about Carter. It all starts the same way. Molly McAdory's murder. Carter and I were assigned to the case. I was a police officer for 25 years. And I've never had an unsolved case in all of that time. A lot of things have changed since my day. But the dedication of our boys in blue isn't one of them. The death of Molly McAdory is a tragedy. This beautiful young girl with a bright future ahead of her is a loss not only to her family, but to the whole community, who I have no doubt would have benefited from her contribution in the years to come. We will not rest until we bring her killers to justice. <laughs> Did she call? Oh, shit. 
Set our shelf down. Oh, it smells great. I'm starving. How much did you drink when you were out? What are we talking about? Don't try any bullshit or bullshit or kid. It's nothing. Just a little nap. I'll just take the edge off. You know how it is. It's getting out of control, Simon. It's not. It's really not. It's been nine years since my wife, Aoife, walked out on me. My wife didn't walk out on me. She's just upset. I was just like you. Swimming to the bottom of a bottle of Jackie D. You know, what did you do about it? I found... closure. I had to let her go. Even though I still loved her. Well, I'm not ready to give up my marriage just yet. Women think that being alone with a cop is all romance and car chases, explosions. Little do they realize that it's an empty space at the dinner table every night. Worrying whenever the, the phone rings. Not a lot of women are up for that. I just can't. I still love her, Chris. Will you keep swinging then? But lay off the sauce. At least during working hours. What can I do for you? Where do I start? Well, I'm very busy. Hmm, that's what concerns me, White. You've heard what they say about all work and no play. That it gets the job done in half the time. Mm, but with none of the fun. You know, I think you should let me take you out for dinner. For your own good, of course. You're pretty persistent. And you're pretty resistant. I have my soft spots. Don't you? A mm, few. Getting fear by the second, though. I can't see your point. We'll look closer. It's there. <laughs> well, that's not much of a recommendation. You know what? I think about you sitting at home alone, night after night, double clicking your mouse. It gets the job done. Mm, I bet. But, you know, you could get that repetitive strain injury. Is this a health and safety issue? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Go on. Say yes. Seven. Oh, and Robinson. Nowhere that does plastic forks and paper plates. Yes, Your Majesty. I'll see you on Friday. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Kerry. Any luck in the Magatori case? No. This girl had serious talent for writing encryption. The <sighs> professor said she was head and shoulders above the rest of her class. Whatever's on this must be really important. Important enough to get her killed. Have you any idea when you'll be able to open it? No. Sorry. I will break the encryption, but there's no telling when. How's the case going? To be honest with you, we run out of places to look. We really need to know what's on that hard drive. I'll keep on it. Well, good news. The old lady there, number eight, she saw Molly McAdory on the day she died. Yeah, she just happened to be with Barbara Windsor and Adolf Hitler at the time. Oh yeah, and the three of them, they were dressed in Spider-Man costumes. She has a case cracked wide open. Do you want to call Mrs. McAdory? Will I do it? Give her the good news. Why'd you bring us down here the day anyway, Chris? We got no more leads. Unless we... Go back over what we've already done. See if we can turn over something we, we might have missed or something.
You're joking, right? First year I was on the force. We brought one of these guys in on a murder. Let us write the guy who did it. Murder victim's blood was stolen no weapon. Damnedest thing I ever saw. What the hell? Gentlemen! Please be seated. Now, how can I help the police? <laughs> don't worry, guys. We're not on the meter yet. You don't need to be psychic to clock you two in this neighbourhood. You understand we're here in an unofficial capacity? Of course. Everything that's said in this room is confidential. I'm like a doctor. You pass me the extra 20 and I'll check your prostate for you. <laughs> okay, let me tell you how I work. I can't control what comes to me. Sometimes things that I see make no sense to nobody. For days, weeks, years. So you only pay me if I deliver. Sound fair? Right. How may I help you? Can you tell me where my wife is? I sense conflict between you and your spouse. No. She left them because they get on so well. Yes, that's right. She's worrying about the amount that you're drinking. And that proof she can smell? She's taken refuge with her family. No, I've spoken with her mother and her sister and she's not with her either of them. Someone lies. Not the mother, the sibling. She's with her sister. 50-50 chance. Her bedroom window looks out upon a tree. A weeping willow. She lies on a bed in a lilac bedroom. She's crying. That's it. That's her sister's house. Hello? Someone has just used Molly McAdory's credit card to rent a hotel room. Thanks, Kerry. Right, let's get out of here. Hypothetically speaking, could you tell us who killed someone? Possibly. But I'd need to touch something that was personally connected with the victim. Come on. Come on. You were the one that wanted to go there in the first place. Yeah, well, one look at her and I knew she was fake. Real psychics don't have to dress up like Gypsy Rose Lee to convince people. Her name was Rosie. Did you get her surname? Maybe she was Gypsy Rose Lee. She's just a bored housewife fleecing other bored housewives. I don't give a shit what you say. Wasn't she right about the bedroom in my sister-in-law's place? When we get done here, I'm going round there to see for myself. Don't you do anything stupid? Aye, aye. My 5.30. We're police officers. Oh, you're my 7 o'clock. You're early? All right. With what I got, you can make more money doing stand-up, rather than lying on your back. I wanted to be a cop once. Yeah, what stopped you? I passed the intelligence test. <laughs> Cute. 
We've got a real bad girl on our hands here, Marshal. Don't worry, I get spanked regularly. Oh, I'm sure you do. So what's it going to take to make you two forget you were here? We just need to ask you a few questions, Miss... Bicker? Cherry to my friends. How did you pay for this room, Cherry? Oh, jeez. Is that what this is about? Look, I'm sorry. I figured she wouldn't notice. She never uses it. Who wouldn't notice? Her, the kid, Molly. She never uses it. Her dad gave it to her for emergencies. I figured it'd be a waste. I'll pay her back when I get back on my back. You don't know, do you, Cherry? You know what? I know nothing. I hooked up with this group of Japanese businessmen and I've been living up in Switzerland ever since. Just got back. Percival Yen, no place to stay. Molly Magadori was murdered three weeks ago. Just before you took off. Silly bitch. I knew she wasn't right for this life. How did you meet her? Through the agency. So she was a prostitute? No. That's just it. Strictly an escort. In the above board sense of the word. And men pay for that sort of thing? She was smart, funny, attractive, good company. Men pay big for that. And do you? You wanted me? You got put through to a different extension. And you're sure my Magatori wasn't on that R extension? I'm sure. In fact, I'd give good odds she's still carrying her V-card. No boyfriends. Spent all her time on her computer. How did you get her credit card? She let me stay at hers a few times. Um, she had a good heart. And you repaid her by stealing her credit card. What about all these men she went out with? Any regulars? Any stick out weirdos or creeps? I don't know. She never said anything to me. Is there anything else, guys? Time is money, you know. And well, is there any particular type that seemed to be into her? All sorts. She had some good stories. Older guys wanting to make their ex-wives jealous. Closet queers wanting to take them out to meet their folks. Shit like that. She never mentioned anyone scaring her. Maybe wanting a bit more than she was willing to offer? No. She was smart. She never gave away her surname. Never gave away where she lived. Never said anything that would let anybody track her down. And she always said goodnight to her date in a public place. That'll be my Uncle Bob. Here to help me move in, guys. We done? Aye, for now. Here. The credit card. Really? Yeah, really. Hi, Uncle Bob. You're here to help me move in. That really is too kind of you. So what do you think? She didn't seem to be hiding anything. Well, where does that leave us? We're done for the day. I, I can take off. What are we doing anything stupid, son?
This is getting old, Marshall. I can't keep pulling favors like this. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not me you need to apologize to. You punched the cops last night. You just don't do that. Not to your own. She was right. The second. I waited outside my sister-in-law's place. I saw her at the window. I just wanted to talk to her. Then she called the cops and you started swinging. You just let me talk to her. No. This isn't anyone else's fault but yours. All that time, you were waiting to spy on her at the window. Were you drinking? Well, well, well. That's Mr. Mayor. Hello, Chris. How are you? And to what do we owe this great honor? Down here to bust your balls with this Molly Macadori thing. Ah, Mac, you were a cop yourself. You know how these things work. They're soft when they're soft. There's no time frame. I know. But the great unwashed out there watch CSI three times a week and expect the whole crime to be committed, investigated and solved within an hour. Mac, you know what it's like. Plenty of time we know who did it. Proving it is something else. I know, but we have to go through the motions. You know, fire off some bluster to the cameras. Keeps them happy. Here, uh, how's Kathleen? Ah, she's fine. Uh, she's actually about somewhere. It's, um, probably in the crapper. She's um, got a bit of trouble with the old uh, plumbing, you know. <laughs> Paying for all those weekends in Dublin, eh? Aye, those are the days, eh? The four of us on the tear. <laughs> Do you ever hear from Aoife? How long is it now? Nine years. You should try a new model. At least give a few a test drive, eh? Those days disappeared with my 32-inch waist. Nonsense. Sure there's money to... Well, relax, Mr. Stone. This is a police station. I'm sure this man has the right to be here. This is my partner, Simon Marshall. Ah, uh, good to meet you, son. Listen, I have to go and find the wife. I have to get to the radio station. Have an interview with uh, Tim Burton, and you know what he can be like. Anyway, keep me in the lip about all this, and uh, don't forget to tell everybody that I give you a balling. Ah, uh, no bother. Who's that ape? That's the mayor's personal ape. Yeah, well someone should tell him to watch who the hell he's pushing. Is this where I get to hear how you could have been a contender? <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> right, we need to go and see Mystic Meg. She used this the night she was killed. If you're fucking me about, you better tell me now. I'm not! I'm getting an eye. Or possibly E. Or O. Possibly A. I name me a vial on it. This should be easy. Give her a chance. She just needs a U for a full set. Uh, maybe it's. An F. I'm being drawn. We have to travel by car. To where? To the killer? It's the 
this way. I'm getting it. It's this way. It's this way. Definitely. Definitely it's this way. She's not much of a sad map, is she? Are you okay? Have another little drink. On the chance that this flick is going to lead us to a killer, I can't have you again. We're getting unarmed. Is this serious? Do you think I drink or steady? I'm guessing you have a bottle on you. Right. Just enough to steady the shakes. Agreed? It's much stronger here. We're so close. Into the forest we must go. You've been saying that for nearly an hour now. Close to what? I, I don't know, but we're close. Well, which way now? Well, which way now? This is it. We're here. Where? There's nothing here. This is where we're supposed to be. I'm sure of it. I just don't know. Great. Uh, maybe if I could hold the phone again. I'm away for a piss. Sniper, take cover. Where'd the gunshot come from? Couldn't tell. We need to get out of here. Come back down with forensics. You think it's safe? Hold on. 
Hold on. I can't control what comes to me. But I'd need to touch something that was personally connected with the victim. It's been nine years since my wife, Aoife, walked out on me. I'm getting an I. Possibly E. Or O. An F. Possibly A. I found... closure. You figured it out. I was hoping you'd be too drunk. What was it? The A in the tree? That was part of it. Sentimentality, you see. Always fucks things up. She's buried under that tree. I guess I wanted a marker in case I wanted it ever to come back again. Jesus Christ, Chris. Ah, don't fucking give me that shit. You nearly did the same thing yourself last night. I'd never hurt her. You never know what you do when you're in that moment. In that moment when she throws your love back in your face and laughs at you. So what's the plan here? Are you going to say I shot her? You shot me? I mean, where's my motive here? How are you going to sell this? My gun. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, careful. Don't be doing anything stupid. Yours? When did you make the switch? Back at the car. When a psychic brings you to the place where you buried your wife, you plan for the worst. So the bullet that killed Rosie will match to my gun? It's good, but it's not enough, Chris. Start walking. They're never gonna buy this, Chris. Think about it if they bring the dogs out here. They'll find Aoife. Are you gonna fucking blame me for that one too? Jesus Christ, Chris, please don't fucking do this. I'm sorry, Simon. Bullshit. Expect us to believe that? That's what really happened. That's what I heard. I know what you heard. But the truth is I made a deal with the mayor. He and Carter were friends since training. The mayor convinced me to say it was an accidental shooting. That I shot Carter and Rosie while in a disoriented state. When you were drunk? He said if the truth ever came out that everyone Carter ever put away would walk. So he accepted my resignation. Just covered the whole thing up. Johnny! Can I have an all right? We'll just over here, please. Guys, I have to take a delivery. Would you watch the bar for me? Yeah. Thanks, Johnny. Why aren't you at our funeral if you two are so. You know. Had something more important to do. Still have. We will never work together once, but one night we worked late.
Is that you? Yes. I hope you're hungry. I'm starving. Two more of the teachers were off sick with this flu today, so I had to cover for both of them, so I only got a chance for a sandwich at lunchtime. By the time I got down to the canteen, they only had beef and mustard, and you know what I feel like about mustard. I know how you feel about mustard. Mm. <laughs> mm, something smells good, but you smell better. Guess I'm going to have to order something off the menu tonight. You did come home in a good mood. <laughs> Anything I should know about? I think you can um, hold that thought until she goes to youth club. <sighs> Roll on youth club. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, hi, can you send her over? We're just about to dish up. What? Oh, I'm sure I've just got it wrong. Okay, bye. What is it? Colin's not across the road at Jenny's. It's the anniversary. They were all at church together. Is that where she said she was going? Yes. I mean, no, but they always do their homework together after school. She goes there every day. Did they maybe have a falling out? I don't know. Did she possibly go to one of her other friends? I don't know. I'm finding Jenny. Sharon, hi. It's me again. Can I speak to Jenny, please? Jenny, hi. Did you come home with Corin today? And did you two have a falling out? And did she say anything about walking home with anybody else? Maybe one of the other girls? Now that's all, thanks. Okay, bye. She said she waited for her after school, but she never showed up. She thought that I had taken her to go shopping. Do you have any of her other friends' numbers? Yeah. Go get them, quickly. Have there been any arguments at home recently? Why, you think she ran away? Well, we have to consider every option. Well, no. I mean, nothing but the usual day-to-day -day things, like homework, bedtimes, that sort of thing. And how are things between yourself and your wife? Well, what's that got to do with anything? A lot of times, if children feel the family unit is unstable, they'll do this kind of thing to get attention. No. Corin is not like that. She's really mature for her age. No, there's nothing like that going on here. We're, we're fine. We're, we're happy. Yeah. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary over the last couple of weeks? Like what? Anything at all. People hanging around outside, strange cars being parked for long periods of time, phone calls, letters. Oh. There was a card. A greetings card? No, a business card. It came through the door just before you came home. It was some computer thing. Do you still have it? I threw it in the bin. Could you show me? There, that's it. That's it over there. Wait, wait, wait. Cybercrime White speaking. Hey Kerry, are you busy? Still trying to break Molly McAdory's encryption, sir. But I'm getting close. Leave that for the moment and check your email. It seems that everyone in the station just got the same one. Is it the one with no sender ID? That's it. Go ahead and open it, it's clean. Did anyone get the code in their email? No. What do you think? Hacker's prank? I don't know. Can you chase it down, find out where the email came from? Sure. I'll get back to you, sir.
Enter code. It must be those letters and numbers on the back of the card. Oh my God! Is that a drill hooked up to that clock? Oh. We better get to the station. Don't start something. I didn't pick it, she chose it herself. I asked her what she wanted and that's what she chose. Not appropriate for Houston, you or the little leader. It's a plastic gun for Christ's sake, let me speak to her. She's not in bed this time son, let me speak to her. And when would be an appropriate time? You know I can hear that bean sprite in the background telling you to say this stuff. Yeah, you too. Yeah, you better go and eat your tofu burger. Good luck with it. Fucking oh, bitch. What? Glad I caught you in a good mood. Well, that's as good as it gets, so talk. Arnott wants us together in that confess case. What's that? Didn't you get the email? <sighs> Emails and females. I have too many in my life at the moment. Come on, I'll explain on the way. I'm Detective Cranston, this is Detective White and she's brought me up to speed in your situation, so what is it he wants you to confess to? I don't know. I mean, we really don't. We've been sitting here trying to figure it out. Come on, everybody's done something wrong. I, I was fined once for not wearing a seatbelt. I have a couple of parking tickets, one for speeding. Oh, that's hardly the grounds for a kidnapping, is it? Did you ever fuck anyone over? What does that mean? Some kind of deal or something. Maybe there wasn't anything technically illegal about it, but... No, no. Nothing like that, no. You're not local. I'm trying to place the accent. We're from South Africa originally. We've been here 14 years now, but... Do you think that's got something to do with this? You tell me. I don't see how. So, you're a teacher. Could this be a pupil? Someone you've pissed off? I mean, I've, I've given out my fair share of detention, but I don't think I'm particularly disliked or anything. Do you teach computers? Um, no, English. But a lot of the teachers have been off sick with this flu, but so I have been covering quite a lot. Computers? Yes, a few times. Anyone stand out? No, but we only teach basic web design. This. There's nothing complicated about this. This is a basic web page template with a webcam. Anybody could do this. No. Whoever made this is smarter than that. I tried to trace the account I got bounced all over the world. What about you, Mrs. Crandall? What do you do? Oh, I'm just the housewife. Any feuds with the neighbours? Anyone who might hold a grudge? Do you any charity work, volunteer work, after school, church organisations? Is anyone new in your lives in the last couple of weeks or months? Excuse us. I think I'd like to kill the guy who brought up the smoking ban. There was something you said in there made me think. You said everyone's done something wrong. Yeah, so? Suppose this guy thinks the same. Maybe he just stuck a pen in the phone book and picked this poor couple. Maybe even he doesn't know what he wants them to confess to. Everyone's guilty of something. <laughs> Aren't you? I suppose. Jesus Christ, that's all. We need some fucking nut running around putting everyone on trial. How do we play it? I don't know. Let me think about it. Meanwhile, 
Why don't you go take a wee unofficial look at her bank accounts? See if you find anything odd. Okay. What are you going to do? I'm going to give the South African police a wee call. See if there's any sheets in this fella. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind getting us a couple of coffees, Mrs. Crandall. How do you take it? Black, no sugar. Well, listen, if you go down the bottom of the corridor there, there's a wee kitchen. Uh, you'll find a wee percolator in there. Better not be muck you get out of the machine anyway. So. You're a teacher? Yes. Boys school or...? B boys and girls. What age? From about 11 to... What are you getting at? You know what I'm getting at. How dare you? Is there anything you want to tell me? I can't believe you. My daughter is in serious danger. You're right. She is. No, is there anything you want to tell me before your wife comes back in the room? Come on, Walter. We both know girls don't shorten their skirts because their legs are too warm. Don't stuff their bras because they maybe have a runny nose unexpectedly. Disgusting. You think so? No, not them. You. Maybe it's not the girls you're interested in. Maybe it's the boys. Did you ever take the boys for PE, Walter? Well, yes, but... Do you take them and make sure they have a shower afterwards? Is there anything you want to tell me? Just, just stop it. Your wife will be back soon. And is there anything you want to just tell me? Shut up! Your daughter will be dead soon. Is there anything you want to tell me? No. No. No! Sit. The fuck. Down. Thank you. Can I speak to you for a minute? Excuse us. Fine, no. Nope. The wages go on once a month. The normal things come out, satellite TV, groceries. What's this two grand withdrawal here? Well that's for a children's charity. It's to support families who have lost children. Well, no, that's far too much. They don't have that much money. What are you thinking? I got this from the police in South Africa. Take a look. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, sorry. Hi. Oh, uh, sorry, you just caught me at a bad time. Uh, just you wait there and I'll see you when I get home. I'll, I'll make it worth your while. Okay, you too. Bye. Who was that? It's the wrong number. <laughs> right. Oh, let's go ask him about this. So, how long have you been a teacher, Walter? Eight years. And what did you do before that? I owned a sweet shop. Was that here or...? It was here, yes. 
And what did you do in South Africa? I did a lot of things. I heard you worked for a charity. What's that got to do with anything? My South African counterpart says that you were investigated following allegations that you were embezzling the charity's money. I nix sê hulle probeer net vaststrak jy sal. Ek het niks om weg te steek nie. Hey, what the hell is this? Let's keep it in English, okay? Look, the allegations were unfounded. No charges were ever brought against me and I was completely exonerated. There's a lack of evidence, that's how I heard it. Well, it amounts to the same thing, doesn't it? Does it? Anyway, you came here then and set up your wee sweetie shop. Yes. Did you do your own taxes, your accounts, stuff like that? Yes. Wish I could do that. I hate paying a guy every year. Where did you learn to do it? I took night classes. Well, listen, what's all this got to do with my daughter getting kidnapped? What does a teacher make nowadays, Walter? Why? I'm just interested, that's all. Curious. I always thought it'd be a great job myself. All those summer holidays, Christmas, half term, mid term. Spend half the year in holiday. If the money's good, I'm sold. I do okay. You do more than okay, so your wife's out of work. Your daughter probably has a laptop, mobile phone, iPad, God knows what else. What is your point? I didn't think it was possible to run a house in one wage anymore. I thought those days went out with the flares. We manage. Where did you get this? Well, that's a hefty donation you've given there, Walter. No one ever nominate you for an OBE. So, since when has it been illegal to donate to charity? Never has. Just seems a lot. You've only three thousand in your bank, and you've given two thousand away to charity. You ever given away two thirds of all you own to a charity, White? See? And she's nice, Walter. Ah, but not as nice as you. You've got it all wrong. They were friends of ours. They lost their son to a hit and run. You must remember that case. And Jerry Harper, they didn't want to take money directly from us and we knew that this charity was keeping them afloat while they had no wages coming in. So we gave money to the charity without them knowing about it. Another charity? Do you have anything to do with running this one? I volunteer occasionally, but... Never mind the OBE. Why don't you think about going for a sainthood? I don't like your tone. I don't care. Look, our neighbours had just gone through a terrible tragedy and we wanted to help them out in any way we could. Did they ever catch the guy? Well, no. Because just like now, the police were asking the wrong questions to the wrong people and didn't bother getting off their asses in order to do something about it. I'd be happy to help if you just tell me why this guy targeted you. I don't know. Bullshit! If you want to get your daughter out of that fucking chair, you tell me now what that man wants you to confess to! I don't know. For fuck's sake! I fucker know something, I swear to God. All right, calm down. I need you thinking clear. Remember, it's the little girl we're worrying about. We're trying to save her. Regardless whether or not her dad's a piece of shit. So what else do you have? A long shot. I'll take anything now. It's the last resort. We give him what he wants. We give him a confession. Confess to what? I don't know. Anything. I'm just going back on the theory of yours where he's just picked these folk at random. Everyone's guilty of something. Maybe I just need them to put their hands up to something. Anything. Maybe that'd be enough. That's a hell of a gamble over a little girl's life. What if he only gives us one chance? Fuck, I know. <sighs> Give me a while with him first. I get the feeling that you and Walter aren't best buds anymore. <laughs> you could say that. You've done the bad cop, let me do the good cop. I'll see if I can get anything out of them.
Did you tell them about the plan? I don't like it. What if we only have one chance? We're running out of options, Walter. But what would you write? I am a child molester. You son of a bitch, I told you I'm already. the odds, Walter. You work on a school. If you want me to write that you're a murderer or a rapist, the sounds more plausible, I'll write that. We're hoping this guy just wants a confession. Any confession. Do it. No, no, wait! Oh, look at the time. He penalized you 30 minutes for every wrong answer. Do something! Tell me what he wants to know! I don't know. This guy isn't fucking around! Tell me what he wants to know, you son of a bitch! I don't know, I don't know! What was that two grand really for? Gambling? Laundering? Tell me what he wants to fucking know! Hello? Who's talking? Is there someone there? Listen! The audio's on! I think it's two way! Corin! Mommy! Is that Judy? I can't see you! Karen! Karen, can you hear me, baby? Daddy, I'm being scared. Where are you? We're with the police. We're gonna find you. Do you know where you are? I don't know where I am. I can't see. Please, do something. Congratulations, Cranston. Terrible business. But it's over now. I still don't know how this guy found out she did it. Apparently there were suspicions back then when it happened. When everyone was interviewed. She was never formally questioned. No real evidence. Just a hunch. 
And we've been sued before for going with hunches, mud sticks and all that. So it was only the investigating officers that would known anything about her? Do you think our kidnapper was a cop? I don't know, but I tell you, I can't think we'll see the end of him. There's ones under the stairs. Come on, I'll show you. Pretty girl. All right. Carrie White. Couldn't have solved this case without her. So that's Carrie White. She's the one working on the Molly McAdory case. The hard drive. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that was you she was talking to in the phone. Hey, you ever see her get out of the handcuffs? <laughs> she did that in here one night. She must have fleeced 300 quid from everyone watching. And she stuffed it all in the action cancer box. No one had a bad thing to say about that girl. Believe me, I see and hear everything from behind that bar. You two got pretty close then? Did she ever show you how she did that trick with the handcuffs? She wouldn't tell me. She, she made me work it out myself. Her death's got something to do with the Molly McAdory case, hasn't it? Come on. You may as well tell us. Okay. I'll tell you what I know and what I've pieced together and where I was this morning. How about we make it this a bit more adventures? We can all throw in 10 each. You don't have to cover the bed, but if you lose, you have to come into work on Monday in your underwear. Yeah! Oh, easy money, Grant, easy money. Hang on a second, I'm not finished. Nope. You have to use my handcuffs and you have to let me put them on. Hook along, guys. Yeah! I don't know if I can do it with someone else's cuffs. I'm used to my own. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> okay then, I'll try. But you'll have to put 20 in instead of 10. Oh, come on, it'll go towards your annual donation for charity if you lose. And if you win, you get the cheese underwear underwear on Monday. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's do this. Oh, sorry, <laughs> You want a full reference now, huh? Uh, six six. Uh, yeah. oh, guys, oh, 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 No way, oh, 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 hell is going on here? May I remind you people, we are in the middle of a murder investigation. We have no time to play games. Come on boss, we're just trying to blow off some steam. Yeah, it's Friday afternoon. And do you suppose Molly McAdory's parents are taking the weekend off from grieving? We need to put this thing to bed quickly. I need everyone to give their full attention to this all of their time. Now get back to your desks. Grant, don't forget these. Oh, 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 So, when are you going to tell me how to do that then? I thought you said you were going to work it out. What kind of detective are you? The kind that likes clues to follow. <laughs> I 
think I'll let you stew in it a little bit longer. Is this, is this some sort of punishment for me going to the stag at the weekend? It's not punishment for that. It's just punishment in general. <laughs> oh. So, um, are you going to see you at all this weekend? Well, it depends if you're going to be in any fit state to try and woo me with the kind of sophisticated conversation I'm used to. Probably not. Mm. What are you going to do about me then? I think I'm just going to sit at home crying, looking at pictures of you, and listening to 80s power ballads. Mm, as it should be, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably be here working on the case. Good, good. Well, do you know what? Just don't be surprised if you receive a few drunken phone calls from me, all right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. What's that? That's your clue. Jesus, what a fucking mess. I'm sorry, sir. I know the mayor is a friend of yours. Which is why I think I shouldn't have anything to do with this. I'm going to wake the chief inspector and let him deal with it. Can I get you a coffee? I hope you don't have any plans. It's going to be a late night for us, Carrie. Coffee would be great. Thanks, sir. I can stay as late as you need.
Well, it's all sorted. The mayor's in custody. He's confessed to everything. Really? I'm sure you must be anxious to get home. Let me drive you. No, that won't be necessary, sir. I can get a taxi. Nonsense. It's the least I can do. Okay. Thanks, sir. I'm sorry, Carrie. I'm so sorry. Oh, don't blame him, Kerry. I worked amongst these people for 25 years. I know where all the skeletons are buried. Literally in some cases. Eh, Leslie? So this was her diary, eh? I should have known. It's funny how something so small could threaten so much. If only I got to know you a little better, Carrie, we wouldn't be in this situation. But I don't. And I can't take that chance. <laughs> Sir, don't let him do this! Sir, sir, please don't let them. So, try.
Strict handcuffs. You can buy them in any drug shop or sex shop. But these aren't trick handcuffs. So how'd you get out of them? With a paper clip. I thought you couldn't pick them. I didn't. Observe. Anyway, observe. Take a key, put it on a paper clip, put it on the back of my trousers, like that. Then you cuff my hands behind my back, I take the key, undo the cuffs, and simple. Why? Come on. I traced the message you sent her. It wasn't hard. 
Detective, I have 200 members of the Women's Institute sitting out there waiting for me to give a speech. So now if you'll excuse me. I have seen Molly McAdory's diary. Carrie had a photo on her phone and I know your husband killed her. Now tell me what happened on Friday night. We got a call from Leslie Arnott. I could only hear one side, but enough to grasp what had happened. She was such a nice young girl. I was just trying to help. So you've known all this time? Over the last 30 years, I've got very good at ignoring the obvious. You may laugh, but I still love my husband. And he loves me, despite everything. Well, I'm not looking the other way. It's going down for this. You'll never make a charge stick. He's got too many friends. Detective Robertson, my wife said to expect you. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> I understand you're upset. I can't blame you. She was a lovely girl. Did you kill her? Or did you get giggles here to do it? I really don't think it matters. I killed her. What are you going to do about it? Gentlemen, please. I was hoping to convince you to look the other way, detective. But I can see by the look in your eye that's not going to happen. Why did you kill Molly McAdory? That was an accident. I'd used that agency many times before, but that night there was someone new in the phones and I got put through to the wrong place. It's funny how all our lives have been disrupted by one ill-informed phone operator. Your wife, she knew, she covered for you. Believe it or not, I dearly love my wife. It's for those reasons that I choose to exercise my more peculiar appetites outside the martel bed. I'm afraid little Molly hadn't been schooled in such practices. You sick fuck. Mr. Stone here is going to take you for a long drive now. I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. This isn't over. You hear me? Robinson. Was why as good as she looked? Jesus, I would have gone to town on that bitch. 
I even asked the boss if I could do her that night before we killed her. But he said no. DNA and shit. They just complicate things. I guess he was right. I did have a go on little Molly Macadori though. I've never heard a girl scream so loud in my life. <laughs> I'm taking you in. Go on ahead. I'll be out in an hour. You can't touch me without implicating the mayor. You can't bring him down without bringing half the force down with him. You're out of options, Robinson. Not quite. <coughs> <coughs> And then I came here. Oh, Jesus. There were always rumours about the mayor. But nobody dared do anything about it. I never trusted that guy. So what happened to Kerry's phone? Stone wrapped it in the mayor's office, so it's got to be wiped or destroyed by now. But then all we have is your word against his. So he just gets away with it? I want that man arrested! Whoa, wait a minute. Arrested for what? Kidnapping. Possibly murder. Murder? Of whom? My bodyguard, Mr. Stone. Do you know anyone called Stone Robinson? Know any stones, Marshal? Just the Rolling Stones. My car's outside. The two of them left my office together. When was this? About half past twelve. Well, that's impossible. Robbins has been in here since half eleven. <laughs> right, Marshal? Half eleven. Yeah. I remember checking my watch. Are you sure you want to get down that road, Cranston? Oh, I'm sure. Hey! Mr. Mayor! Life, my 
might not be as long as you think. Johnny, give us a pen of black stuff, please. Sure. Listen, Cranston, if you need me to say that you three were in here since 11.30, I will. How'd you... Oh, I forgot. You see and hear everything thus far. Thanks, Johnny. Sorry, I need to go change the bar. Cold.